find the three animals, okay, which, you know, you're looking at the one with the binoculars, which three animals are not present. Like, they're fun activities, but it's not necessarily an exit the game. And that's all right. Welcome to Cloudy with a Chance of Meeples, a channel of conversation and board games. Hey, my name is Brent here on Cloudy of the Chance of Meeples. Today, time for a review of another Exit the Game game. And this one is aimed towards kids ages five and up. Today, we're looking at Jungle of Riddles, an exit game in which you can play more than one time. This is aimed at children. I'll say that right now. It's aimed at kids. I'll show you how you play this one in the radar overview. This will be more of a spoiler um, review of this exit the game because you know what? I want to give you an opportunity to know is this good for your children and what age would this be good for? So I'll show you a little bit how this is played. Final forecast coming up. First, cue the thunder. So the radar overview for Exit the Game Kids Jungle of Riddles. I'm going to show you how this one plays. I'm not going to show you all of them because it says playable multiple times. And so you have six different categories and you'll be using one of each different categories um, in, in the game. So you'll be doing one of each little quote unquote riddles in each game. I just want to show you how exactly these play because if you have kids and it says ages five and up and I know my kids are, you know, seven and just about 10. So they're a little bit out of the age range of what this box says, but they did enjoy the Christmas advent calendar, exit the game advent calendar. And I want to show you what these little riddles or, you know, brain teasers all include so you can know are they too easy for my kid or are they not not easy enough or whatever so this is going to be a spoiler but chances are as a parent you're going to be doing this and kind of overseeing and just monitoring your kids to you know help them out if they need but you have six different types of puzzles in which you'll be doing and um you get a decoder wheel it's a little bit smaller there's only you know six th um different things on it versus I think 10 on the, the normal exit of the games but I want to show you what exactly they all do so let's start with this leaf one you flip it over and you then take these leaves and you have to cover up animals so that only three are showing so I'll just quickly show you how this works they all have to show or they all all the leaves have to stay on the card they can't uh, overlap and they can't go over the side of the card but this will give a good indication on if you think your kids can do these or if it's just too easy or whatever. So let's go like there. Um, and then you have the orange one, which will rotate like this. So at that point, you, you, you've used the leaves. You've covered everything up except three animals. In this case, it's the tiger, the chameleon, and the elephant so we go under the leaf and we do the tiger the the elephant and the chameleon at that point you flip it over and if it has a key like this that means you are correct you take one of the little key tokens and you put it on one of the nine treasure tokens so that is how you do the leaf one they're all going to be the same um same situation you're just covering out, up different animals this one, you'll be taking this magnifying glass and, uh, oh, sorry, the magnifying glass goes here. You'll be doing process of elimination, looking at this picture and figure out which three of the animals are not represented. The map, you'll be taking um, this map and then you'll be following it. So you start with this little girl and you go to the rock and then you go to the fire and the fire's over here. So you'll be crossing um, paths on uh, three different animals on your journey and whichever three animals you you pass will be your three codes or your three animals in the codes this is just shadows so you figure out which three animals are represented in the shadows you put it in the decoder wheel this one the magnifying glass you have to put this little magnifying glass somewhere on this where only three animals are showing it can't be over the edge it can't have any other parts of animals showing and whichever animals um three are in that little circle that's your code 
and then you flip over one of these hat ones again you're going to be taking one of each of these and the rest will be set aside and you look at the box and you say which three animals have this little hat on it so if you look at the box ah you can see the little chameleon here has the hat on and then you'll look on the back of the box or the side of the box i'm not going to show you everything but you just look on the box in typical exit the game fashion and then kids will be looking at the box and figuring out which three animals are represented so it's pretty it's pretty simple it truly is pretty simple anytime you get it right you put your you know your tokens on the different treasures there's no time involved or anything like that and then when you uh have figured them all out then you just look and it's fun for the kids to find out oh look one of the treasures is bubbles a chest full of bubbles and th that's about it so i just want to show you how these puzzles or riddles whatever you want to call them they're not really riddles they're, it, they're kind of like observation lessons in in all honesty process of elimination um following a map you know this is like the most tactile one that reminded me of an exit game where you're doing things you know covering things up as well as this one is very similar to exit games where they always seem to have stuff on the boxes so but yes that is an overview spoiler i might say over overview of exit the game jungle of riddles now let's move on over and check out the final forecast so the final forecast for exit the game jungle of riddles an exit the game aimed at children ages five and up our kids age seven just about 10 so a little bit higher than the age range that this is the target audience for and i will say this we love x of the games we did one of the ones the christmas one the um, ice cave one with our kids and some of those riddles and some of those puddle puzzles were a little bit over their heads this one is uh, it, it's kind of to me they're not riddles to me they're not puzzles they're kind of, I guess, logic puzzles. They're more like a problem solving thing. Take the one for the shadows. You're looking at a, a picture, three different shadows overlaid on top of each other, and you gotta figure out which three animals are represented by those shadows. That's not really necessarily a riddle or a puzzle. It's kind of like an observation thing. And I will say this, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I see this standing out and really shining in the classroom of an early elementary school age classroom so that kindergarten grade one maybe if you have centers in your classroom maybe you're homeschooling i see this shining there you can do this six different times and then you'll have done all the puzzles if you want to call them that or the riddles or you can just mix and match chances are you know you may forget or for me i forgot oh yeah we did that one that's all right so you can mix and match and truthfully i can do these i can do all six of these puzzles in probably less than six minutes like for me as an adult it's so easy but it's not the target audience the target audience is children ages five and up my kids they enjoyed it they weren't chomping at the bit to keep doing it because after you figure out okay I follow the map, find the three animals, okay, which, you know, you're looking at the one with the binoculars, which three animals are not present. Like, they're fun activities, but it's not necessarily an exit the game. And that's all right. I think, I think that's all right. Because I will say this, the one with the leaves where you're covering up the cards and the one with the box that you're trying to find the three animals wearing a certain hat, those lead into what the exit the series has done for many years now where you're looking at the box and you're looking for different things on the box or in the insert you're covering different things up to reveal a code my kids they liked that they liked putting in the code you know the whole decoder wheel was a fascinating thing for them as a dad i had enjoyment watching them do it for some kids this will be an absolute boring time like they'll figure them out right away it won't be fun at all then you'll have another kid who will be really excited much like my kids were doing figuring out you know which three animals are not pro, uh, not present in this picture or you hold that magnifying glass and you're putting it on that card trying to figure which three animal group is the combination they'll enjoy that 
some kids they won't. Like I said, I think this really shines if you have a classroom setting where you have different centers and you can, you know, give a couple kids different puzzles and they can work together and try to figure it out. Um, it's not it's not necessarily bad, but this is one that you will be able to replay over and over again or give it to friends, other families to um, so that they can enjoy it with their kids. So overall, I asked my kids, what do you think about it? What would you give it? And they aligned very much what, what I would say, and that would be a seven, a 70% chance of meatballs because I think it's fun for what it is. Don't go into this thinking, oh, my kid is gonna be able to solve all these like mind bending puzzles and riddles and whatever, logic puzzles. It's not that, it's like, Picture observation puzzles. That's what it is. So 70% chance of meeples for Exit the Game Jungle Riddles. My name is Brent. Check us out on Facebook, Cloudy with a Chance Meeples. Remember, grab your umbrella. The forecast is cloudy with a chance of meeples. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember to grab your umbrella because the forecast is cloudy with a chance of meeples.